now I own Sam Novak's computer. Whoever he is. Arthur C. Clarke wrote that any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. This is where we make the magic. Anyone heard of emergency? Emergency. Big, ugly, nasty government contractor. Uh, data mining, NSA. CIA, hardcore combinatorial math. Is that it? Just data mining? What's your interest in emergency? Mm. Just a side project I'm working on. Uh, tell me that you're using the neighbor's Wi-Fi. Uh, yeah. I need a drink. Anybody else? So oh, what's the uh, great L user up to tonight? Finish with that client estimate set you up with? This afternoon. How did you know about that? Richon told me. She a cheap and slut. Yeah, something like that. But you'll never guess with who. Does it matter? Sam Novak. Don't know him. CTO of emergency. No shit. I rooted his office computer this afternoon. I'm searching their network. Oh right no, now as we well speak. no, 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 no. This I told you too I wasn't, heavy for back door. I'm not using your network. Yeah, and Hash told you what emergency does. Large-scale data mining, that means NSA, they'll find the intrusion. If anyone sees anything, they're just going to think that Novak has his own botnet. Fine. I think you can do it, and I think you can get away with it, but not here. What is your problem? Not here. I don't go on dates. I don't go clubbing. I don't care about celebrity hookups or which sports team just won. My universe exists entirely within computers. The moment we come up with a way to not have to eat or sleep or any of the other things required to stay alive, I'll be the first in line. And by in line, I mean online, breaking in and reading about it. Then Bitchan and I will get together and bootstrap a homebrew version for ourselves. Because copyrights, patents, trademarks and all the other ephemeral concepts of ownership are a time bomb. Animal trainers teach a dog by giving the dog some treat it likes. They call this paying the dog. I do what I do for love. Anything else is a form of slavery, a reduction of my humanity, which is why I feel the moral liberty to search through Emergency's network and download all of their recently developed programs. After all, they are a government contractor. In this country, that means they work for me. 
Ownership is an illusion. I don't value money. I acquiesce to social norms only in so much as it's required to keep myself alive and connected. Take a look at the world around you. You get in your car, which is run by a computer. You watch TV, which is run by computers. Any concept you have of a world that doesn't involve electronics is naive. Of course, you can manufacture a reality to suit your delusions if you like. What difference does that make to me? It's just one less person I have to deal with. Because if that's your choice, then you are irrelevant. You cease to exist in any meaningful way, except as extremely low hanging fruit. That is until you get a seat on the Senate and make idiotic laws like the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Copyright hinges on two interrelated ideas. One, scarcity. Two, if we want a section of our society dedicated to making cool stuff, then we've got to keep the people who create that stuff alive and doing what they do best, like emergencies program called Shepherd. I open it up, read a few lines of hex, and recognize none of it. But Hash, he codes like stream of consciousness poetry. Maybe he can make sense of Shepard. I slurped a bunch of programs from a network I hacked into. Any cool ones? One's interesting. Where did you get it? Emergency. <laughs> That's some serious shit, man. Did you disable Wi-Fi? Yeah, but I don't know what it did. Okay. To hell with it. Let's take a look. Okay, so type Shepherd. Shepherd? They called it Shepherd. Pride comes before a fall. I know, right? Okay, it's a bit sparse. This part looks like a standard terminal. But this code here looks like it's trying to start an SSH tunnel. Where's it calling? It's calling? I don't... I don't know. Do you think it's government? 
Who knows? We need to give it access to find out. No, well, they'll know where we are. And that's why, my friend, we're so close to the neighbors. It'll buy us a couple of minutes. Any preferences? I love the communal nature of San Francisco. So caring, so sharing, so loving. <laughs> Best Mike Myers movie ever. Okay, well, that's as far as I go. Whatever it is, they don't want company. Be careful, Rob. Pseudonym was right. Emergency's nasty. Like, Orwellian and shit. Maybe Decimate can hack in. Well, meanwhile, I'm gonna stream, so I married an axe murderer. She stole my heart and my cat. <laughs> We know two things about Shepard. One, it's calling something outside itself. Two, it leads to a login screen. Doing that in public was not smart. I've got to go someplace where Wi-Fi signals can't escape. You know those crazy people who wear aluminum foil hats to protect themselves from the brainwashing space rays? The space rays don't exist, but the foil? That reflects almost all radio signals in existence. It's similar to what the CIA uses to make their black rooms. And yes, they do call them black rooms. Of course, if you don't ground it, the reflective metal becomes a giant antenna. So the crazies with the foil hats are actually amplifying the fictitious space rays if they wear rubber-soled shoes.
Today's questions are, what is Shepherd doing and who is it built for? Whoever wrote Shepherd spent a long time doing it. The entire thing is written in a proprietary language. And since my debugger only understands standard languages, there's just too much code to know what it's doing. On to question two. Who is Shepard built for? Time for some Cartesian logic. Any system can be understood if you break it down to its component parts. Study the parts, figure out what they do, then you'll have a pretty good idea of what the whole thing is doing. But, like I said, it would take weeks to figure out all of Shepard. So, I looked for one very specific part. I only need to find out who it's trying to talk to. That will be a single ingredient. One number the IP address of a server it's calling. In the late 1950s, MIT hackers believed, as I do, that information should be free. This ideology leads people to call us crypto-anarchists, an oversimplification to the point of error. Just because I don't hold to the tenets of a government quickly devolving into fascism doesn't make me an anarchist. I don't have a label for what I do beyond hacker. You could just as easily call me a libertarian, except I'm not sure that government has a place at all, or what it might look like in a future without conventional trade. Or maybe communist is right, except that means that all things are community property, as opposed to no one owning anything which is closer to how I feel. Godwin's Law states that as online discussions grow longer, the probability of comparisons involving Nazis or Hitler approaches certainty. The reason for this is because we as a species don't like vagaries. It's because we come from people who needed to know whether or not there was a tiger in the woods. Their lives depend. My neighbor Brian bakes meth for the Oakland chapter of an infamous biker gang. Walter White, he's not. The idiot must have blown himself up. The sentence for manufacturing an illegal controlled substance in the state of California is usually up to seven years. Normal computer crimes can be up to nine years. Breaking into top secret government computer systems and copying files? They call that terrorism nowadays. At which point the laws have been getting a bit hazy. If I'm lucky, the fire that took Brian also melted any evidence in my loft too. If not, DHS now has me on their list. Somewhere near the top. 
Excuse me, Catherine, is Susan? I, I mean, is uh, Susan around? It's Cat. And pseudonym's in the back. You asshole. What are you talking about? Hash told me what you did after I told you not to. An hour ago, they came and took him. You did that, asshole. Hey! Hey! Wait a second. Are you listening to me? You did that, L user. I don't know who those guys were, but they came in here because you decided to steal some government shit for lols. You don't understand. No, no. It's not that I don't understand, it's that I don't care about you. Not anymore. Why are you still here? I don't have any place to go. Do I care? You did. Do I care? No. Get the hell out of my bar. Correlation without causation. That's when two things seem to be related, but aren't. You have two data points. Ice cream sales and drownings. You notice that as ice cream sales increase, so do drownings. You could assume ice cream makes people drown. Or you could just look at your calendar and realize it's summer. So first, the two facts look related, but logic tells you they're not. And then you see a third factor, that they are related, just not in the way that you first thought. Login screen. But to what? I don't know. <sighs> Whoever it is, they want it hidden. But this sucks. Yeah. What did you expect would happen? I don't know, not this. What about Hash? Pseudonym hates me. Figure it out. Maybe she'll forgive you.
You might like it. You might like jerking off. What if Brian didn't cause the fire? What if emergency traced Shepard back to me? Which still leaves the question, who's Shepard calling? Bit. I watched Shepard in action. I saw the login screen at the park. So, why isn't the IP address working? Megumi! About last night, I'm... I'm sorry. I know. You're a guy. It's expected. It's just that the bastards burned down my apartment and stole my friend. They kidnapped him. I don't know what they're doing with him or where. I don't even know if he's still alive. Well, you did hack their network. You're on their side. What you did was pretty stupid, Will. You don't even know what Shepard does. You will help me find out. So black op agents can come and kidnap me? That's not going to happen. Please tell me your plan if you even have one. Find out what they're doing and why. Vague and probably impossible. The moment you touch Shepard, something bad happens. So then that's where we start. What? Whoever owns Shepard, Anytime they see it running, they send someone, right? Twice doesn't make it a trend, but sure. So we run Shepard and let them come to us. And when they come with their guns? Stakeouts are so much cooler in the movies. Yeah. But if this works, we'll have something. Yeah, if they don't see us, they don't catch us, whoever they are. Did you put your camera in my bag? Yeah. Put your phone down. Keep watch. Why? I have to pee. What? what? You think girls don't have to pee? Feel free? Unfair. Babe. What? I know you don't like me. Of course I like you. You're like my brother and 
best friend, all in one. No, I meant attracted to me. I know what you meant. I was just trying to let you off easy. Easy. I thought you said you were sorry. I am. Then why are you bringing this up again? I don't know. I'm just curious. Something to pass the time. Why wait until now? I didn't wait. That was just the first time you noticed. Then what, Will? Suddenly you think I'm gonna invite you into my room? No. I... You could fuck me all night. That's not what I meant. Get the camera. Get the camera. Come on. All we need is a night. Just get the license plate. Get down. Get down. Get down. I can't. Did they see us? I don't know. Okay. Take it. Take the. Take. Take. Did they see, do you think they saw us? I don't, I, I don't know. Okay, then we stay. Did you get it? Did you get it? didn't work. We know that. Try the next one. Now what? When you want to go back and get the can. It's only going to give us an IP address, not a password. to go to work. I'll be back later tonight. It's called port knocking. You want to talk to server X, which won't respond. The only way to get it to respond is to query servers A through E in a certain order during a specified period of time. Only then does server X talk back. In this case, 212.3.208. Dot six five. That's why the IP I got from the black room didn't work, and why I just got a different IP from the can of worm. Of course, that doesn't solve the login screen.
I got the IP. I went back and got the can and it had the IP in it. Did anyone see you? Some nosy neighbor. I, I told him I was with the phone company. How do you know he was local? How do you know he wasn't with them? That, that, that's just paranoid. I, I mean, he just walked up to me and... Paranoid? <sighs> Don't be an idiot, Will. It's not just your shitty life on the line anymore, okay? Dude, what is your problem? You ever hear of calling first? You told me to come over. Not a good time. It's important. Then why wait till we're inside? Tell me now. I found the IP address Shepard's been trying to reach. <sighs> I'll be back in a second. Empty ice? Yeah, that too. Look. I know you think that this is important, but it can wait. It's 212.3.208.65. I know. How? Will. Will. What do I do for a living? You're a hacker. And who do I work for? I don't know. I work for governments major multinational companies. Finding an IP address is noob shit. Now, do you have something useful or not? They've got hash. I know. Cat came here for comfort. And I'd like to get back to that. I need the password to the login screen. I have to know what it does and why they're willing to kidnap people. Will, whatever it is, it's bad. I know that it always is. It's going to be something you'll want to forget, but you won't be able to. It will change your worldview, and it will either make you an activist or apathetic. Is that what you want? Yes. Are you sure? There's no going back, Will. Not ever. I need to know. I've been Don't come in. Are you sure about this? What is it? What do you think? You wrote it down. Sure, why not? That is the stupidest password I've ever seen. It's actually pretty good. More than eight characters, one capital letter, and a symbol. Props to Michael Mitchell. Head of the NSA. You wanted access. He's probably got the most. Wait, 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 wait. How did you get this? 
He didn't give it to me, if that's what you're asking. Thanks. I owe you. No, you don't. Not this time. Not for that. It's not a puzzle anymore. Now, it's something else. DHS probably thinks I'm dead. They have everyone they think knows about Shepard. I could leave it alone and disappear. Pull a Kevin Mitnick. Sans the getting caught part. Of course, Mitnick now makes millions as a security consultant. I just need to terminate some of my social connections. So my trail never leads back to them. Or from them to me. Talk to Decimate. Yeah, he had plans. I know. How did you know? So, what were you doing for the rest of the night? Thinking. Wondering, when, when does this thing end? Are you staying here? No. You started it, Will. I know. So what's the problem? I think I should let it go. What happened to your curiosity? Too many people are getting hurt. This country is supposed to be free. I don't care about politics. It's not about politics. It's about an idea, Will. It's if people knew about this? Finish this. It's not about you anymore. An open Wi-Fi network is one more hop they'll have to make to find me. Then 
and there's Tor. Tor was designed by the Navy so their informants could log in and give them secret information from a country they're not supposed to be in. Logging into Shepard is scary however I do it. The fact that it's a tracking program doesn't help. Who can it track? I wonder if it can track hash. How would you wake him up? No. No, no, no. No, no knife. Subtle. Remember? How hot's your tea? Movie time, Charles. This is a video of you at a park bench as you attempt to access a top secret database. Look, Hash. We know you did it. Okay? Lying to us just makes life much more painful for you. The video shows a man named William Werner Stevens giving you the laptop. See, you were able to track his. Aquarius, 1984. The U.S. government rarely builds its own technology. They hire Raytheon to maintain a radar station in Alaska. SAIC took over the remote viewing when the Army got tired of it. An emergency built the login app for the most powerful monitoring system ever conceived. Pseudonym and probably the search engine on the back end, too. Cat, would you get her, please? This is important. What do you want? We need to talk. Then talk. Not here, in the back.
Does it bother you that the NSA monitors everything that you do online? Does it bother you that you're afraid of a government that claims to be for you? That both private and public companies know where you are right now? Who gives a shit? Why should I care? What's your name? Eddie. 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 Brandon. Brandon. What were you doing last night, Eddie? Sitting at home, watching TV. What were you watching? I don't remember. Something on Netflix. That good. Ink. You got good taste in movies. Eddie, that's a good movie. What the hell is this? This is a tracking program. What's it track? Everything. <laughs> See what I mean? I don't do anything wrong. So who cares? That's good. You know who else didn't do anything wrong? A guy named Robert Martin. At least that's not why he was kidnapped. Two days ago. You want to know what he's doing now? I'm a software engineer at D and D. I don't even know what shepherd it is. I want to believe you. I do. But we have records showing that you tried to access Shepard's oh, email come on, come on, I don't know. I don't. I told you everything I know. Would you like a cup of coffee? Sure. Remember, no cream. And two sugars. Only one today. And a Why are you doing this? Because you wouldn't talk to me. Something about the city epidemic. Whatever the reason, that's what she says, and I want to live long enough to enjoy my pension. just a job to me and I'm gonna come in tomorrow it's either gonna be you in that chair or somebody else it really doesn't matter to me <laughs> I've told you everything I know <laughs> this can stop any time or go on as long as you want God, no bar in San Francisco will think for a moment. There's something else. Yeah, you're right. You logged on to a government website to show a tracking program that tracks everything. You saw me use Tor. And, uh, you think that the CIA or, or whoever's behind this, you think they haven't cracked Tor? No, they haven't. And you know this how. Because if they have... If, if they trace this back to me, damn it, Will. They kidnap people. They torture people. Yes. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Just think about somebody other than yourself. I have been. That's why I'm here. They have a hash. I know. I was here when they took him. No. 
they have him and I found him. Show me. You're not gonna like this. Six Eleven Folsom, downtown, south of Market. Gotta get him out. This is Homeland Security. They're working with the NSA in emergency. Bit Chan and I can break into their system, but you're going to need to be there to pick him up when and if he comes out. And we're going to need your servers. You want me to just hack him? Huh? He'll trace it, Will. No, not this time. They will no. trace it, and then who knows how many people you're going to have to bail out. I already have two. There is another possibility, but it's a lot scarier, and it is going to add you to their list. We gotta get them out. If I don't come out... Are you sure he's here? This is it. Get him out. Are you ever going to come in on time? You know what your problem is? You're too serious. We're fighting terrorism. All right, do you want another 9-11? Whatever. Someday when you realize how much shit really goes down, you relax. I don't know what I'm expecting. Maybe two armed guards and a full body scanner. The place looks more like a library or a school. Anything but a domestic prison for advanced interrogation. What's this regarding? Prisoner transfer. I guess that's the point when you violate the people's trust on this scale. Discretion is more important than function. So transfer, that's weird. What's this about? I don't know. I, I don't ask. I asked once. That's why I'm running these errands instead of being a field agent. I know what you mean. I asked once and I didn't sleep for a week. So who do you want to work on today? Martin's dead. 
Sometimes Julie overdoes it a bit. I told her to take it easy. Oh, it looks like Robert Martin isn't here anymore. Well, that's not what I was told. The database was just updated. Pneumonia, I understand, but letting a subject die during an interrogation, that's just irresponsible. Sorry. Anyway, Charles Drake should be coming right out. Well, that leaves Charles Drake. Well, Drake it is. How you doing today, Charlie? You really went to town, you huh? I got some good news. You're getting out of here, buddy. So what do you want to try next with Drake? I don't know. Oh, the microwave. I heard that wasn't going to come in for another couple of weeks. No. Came in this morning. Hmm. That's right. Prisoner transfer. Now, I don't know where they're sending you, but it's got to be better than this place, right? Huh? Okay. Let's go. Uh, someone's gonna change your clothes and walk you out of here, okay? He doesn't have any fillings, does he? Uh, no. I checked early. That's good. You don't want to see what happens to somebody with fillings. Seen it. Gnarly old burn marks all over the inside of their mouths. God. And this guy wasn't even in his records. Must have had it done in Tijuana or something. Anyway, they turned the emitter on and sparks just started flying from this guy's mouth. <laughs> and the emitter tech. He pukes on me. Did they move him? No. So he's in here. Because I know he didn't escape. No, he's not in here. I know that. So they moved him. That kind of thing happens all the time. Let's go check on the front desk.
Have you seen a Charles Drake? Yeah, he just left. Stop. They're gone. What, you're just gonna let them get away? No. I'm gonna send a team out after them and bring them back, the same way we did it the first time. saying we use the tools available to us. All right, track them with their cell phones. They have GPS. Where's Martin? They probably killed him. Wait, what? How do you know? Two reasons. One, he wasn't there this morning. Two, they don't transfer people out of there. We can't go anywhere we've ever been. So? We, 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 they know where we've been. They know everyone that we know. They know everyone that we've ever talked to. They're probably tracking us right now. Turn off your phone. Where am I supposed to go? I don't know. Out of town. Take 280 South. I need some time to think. Can you bring up the lobby cameras for me, please? Sure. All right. Back that up five minutes. Back. All right, wait. Pause. That. Can you enhance that resolution a little bit? I can increase the contrast a little, but I can't add resolution that doesn't exist. Alright, whatever. Just do that. Okay. Okay. Do an image search on him. Damn it. That's a kid from the park. That's Stevenson. Go to Decimate's house. I don't know where he lives. Head north on 19th. I get it. More than you know. I doubt that. Continue. We got hash. Oh, don't tell me that. He's in the car. Whatever. Get inside before someone sees you. You brought him here? 
Well, this is bad. I know. We're going to get caught. And they're going to try and take me down with you. I'm sorry. But I know what Shepard is. So do I. I can't let it go. So you went the way of the activist. Does this mean you're willing to accept the consequences? They're going to come and get me. I'm not asking you to hide me. I'm asking for your help in taking them down. Shepard is wrong. What are you doing here? Does it matter? Well, what the hell have you done? What do you want this time? We need to take them down or at least break them before they find us. <laughs> you got Hash out, which I have to say, more than I thought you'd manage. But attacking DHS and NSA, well, it's crazy, even for me. We can't let them get away with this. I, I, can't, I can't live with it. The NSA is a company mainly populated by people like me. You don't stand a chance. Then we notify the media. <laughs> Have you ever heard the term media conglomerate? Damn it. Decimate. Don't you believe in anything? Survival. And what you're talking about? Not how I do it. Information should be free. Don't be naive. Will. Nothing is changing. You either play the game and thrive, or you fight it and lose. I don't lose. Will's right. We can't let them take him. Sure we can. In fact, it's probably the best option we've got right now. Sometimes the best way to deal with a thing is to go through it. I thought you were his friend. I am. After seeing you here, though, I wonder if he still feels the same way about you. I got a lot of work to do before sunrise, so... What happens at sunrise? Don't wake them. They're going to need what little rest they can get. When are you going to get some furniture? When I get around to it. Heat? Really? You are such a guy. Good morning, people! I've got some bad news. DHS is outside and they've come for Will and Hash and Pseudonym. What? How did they find us? I turned you in. You mean we're just going to knock? Those are the orders. That's not a lot of fun. I get that you're pissed, but you're just gonna have to trust me. Why? Because I've got a plan. And if your plan fails, Punctual. I like that. Where are they? It's all right. They're not going to do anything rough. That's part of the deal. <laughs>